Thank you for coming back to my channel. In today's video, we will talk about pronunciation of the S sound. With many of our students who are native Chinese speakers, the S sound, particularly in the consonant cluster, is very difficult. Consonant clusters are one of the top errors that English language learners will experience as they begin to speak English. There are a few different ways that you can assist your students in producing the S sound correctly. If the student is producing the S sound like this, this is called a frontal lisp. In this incidence, you can do a couple of different techniques. These techniques I've used for many years in my private practice as, as a speech therapist. If your student is older, you can implement having them watch your mouth and then watching their own mouth. So you can just show them, look, as I produce the s and talk about, oh, do you see my tongue? And then have them produce the s and say, oh, your tongue came forward. Do it like this. If your student is younger, then you can talk about your tongue like it is a snake. I will often even use a visual of an actual toy snake to help with this. We mentioned that the snake is your tongue and you want to keep the snake in its cage. Your teeth are the cage. So you will say S -s -s when they try to produce the S sound and the tongue comes forward, you can say, ah, the snake, it came out of its cage. It needs to stay in its cage. Of course, the students often think that this is very funny and it gives them a way to continue to practice the sound and also think about how their tongue needs to remain in their mouth to produce this particular sound. So those are a couple of tips on ways that you can help your students to produce the S sound or the snake sound. Remember, many of our students also struggle with having the S sound to indicate plurality at the ends of words. If It may not always be clear if it's that they are not understanding the grammatical rule to make something plural or if they're just struggling to make that consonant cluster. It doesn't hurt to over enunciate that S whenever there's a plural form. Of course, I often will circle it to bring visual attention to the presence of the sound. But again, remember that's a high frequency sound, so it's not something that is as easily detected by our ears. Thanks again for coming back to my channel. Subscribe below, ask any questions, and I hope the tip of keeping the snake in the cage can be helpful for you and your students. Goodbye, happy teaching.